My background, um, I'm a South African, Greek. My uh, grandparents uh, emigrated from Greece to South Africa in the 20s, and I was born there as a second generation Greek. From South Africa, I moved to, I moved to Hong Kong. I spent my life in, in advertising. I joined McCann Erickson in South Africa, I moved to Hong Kong. Uh, they discovered that a Greek living in Hong Kong, so they moved me to Athens and made me CEO of uh, McCann Erickson in Athens. Got there and I couldn't speak a word of Greek, by the way, I had to learn Greek on the fly. From there I moved to Mexico, to New York, and then uh, I decided to move back to Greece in 99. I was asked to give a talk up in Thessaloniki on uh, rebranding Greece. And I gave this talk to 250 people. And um, the organizers put it up on YouTube and it just went viral. It just like went nuts. And considering it was a 30 minute talk in English, on, on branding, which is a pretty technical kind of subject, it just amazed me. It just went totally viral. So obviously I'd hit a couple of buttons that, uh, that people could identify with, agree with, and, and see something inside, and which is the reason why I really took off. It's not about rebranding Greece, but about rebranding Greeks. And, and perhaps the word brand gets in the way over here, because it's not really about branding. It's about defining and clearing up how Greeks feel about themselves in the world today. And, and, and you know, the more work I've done, the more I've come to the conclusion that one of the biggest issues facing Greece today is the fact that Greece has not carved out a clear role for itself in the modern world. And, and that Greeks today are, are faced with an incredible crisis of confidence. And that moving forward is a very difficult thing. And this to me is the key, key issue facing Greece today. The definition of what it is to be a European has become a Northern European definition. It's, it's become, I don't want to call it a German agenda, but it's, it's, a, it's an agenda which is all about productivity. It's about, it's about engineering, it's about um, balanced books, it's about the Protestant ethic, right? And, and Greeks have been aspiring on the one hand towards being Europeans as consumers, but I don't think we found our niche regarding our true role within Europe and the world. And I think the most important thing is for Greeks to understand and for, for Greece to understand what our true know-how is, what our knowledge base is really all about, okay? And, and if the German knowledge base is about engineering, about precision, about productivity, well, our know-how comes from something else. It's life-based. I'm talking about, you know, producing things of value which are based on this unique Greek know-how, which is called the love of life. And if you think back to classical times, that's part of our DNA. Philosophy, medicine, theater, um, sculpture, democracy. It's all life-based stuff. And that, I think, is the true knowledge base that we've got as Greeks even today. So if you think, for example, of olive oil, it's not just something that you press and sell for $2 a litre to the Italians for them to go and package it and turn it into something attractive and premium, right? You know, if we're thinking in terms of monetizing this, this know-how, I think that you've got to start by recognizing that olive oil actually is part of something else called the Mediterranean diet. And that is a thing of huge value in the world today. So if you start working on that kind of platform, as opposed to simply selling oil, Okay, you can monetize this incredible know-how that we've got as a nation. Uh, if, if, you, if you had to think of fixing the entire society, um, there is no quick fix. But there are fixes happening every single day. You know, if you look at Greeks doing amazing things, they are the fixes. And, and it's happening all the time. And here I'm not just talking about Greeks inside Greece, I'm talking about Greeks around the world. And, and, and I think that all of these are part of the fix. It's about people individually doing incredible things. And then us as a society acknowledging these incredible things, be they within Greece or without, outside of Greece, right? Acknowledging these, showcasing them, and drawing inspiration from them. I am working on something called the Yinete Project, which you, you may know about, which is an idea to, to create a real creative community 
of, of truly innovative young people in, in the old airport building in Athens to really stimulate creativity, innovation, and to attract investment into there. I already feel you know, very satisfied when I hear or when I read people writing to me uh, and talking about the positive influence that just what I've been saying has had on them. So if we can take it a step further and actually facilitate people to get out there and get stuff done, well, that would be really, truly satisfying. The most important thing that we as Greeks around the world can do is to, is to reconnect as Greeks. And, and, and if that can happen, if, if I can stimulate that just you know, in a small little way, that for me would be a huge thing. Because I think that reconnecting is really important.